The third presentation will be made by Mr. Kim Tan Yu, the strategic director from Creators. He will make presentation about the issues related to copyright on NFT market and how to solve them. Nice to meet you all. NFT marketplace for social creators. Uh, creators. I am Kim Tanyu, the strategy director from S Creators. I will briefly explain about myself. In 2017, I joined the blockchain field and created a blockchain media and accumulated my experience in the sector. Now I am operating a blockchain educating institute named Pablo, and I am also the strategy director of uh, creators. Today, I would like to talk about copyright infringement issues in NFT market. And although we cannot come up with universal solution to the problems, I would like to share with you uh, how we are solving the copyright infringement issues. Audience here may have more information than myself regarding NFT, so I'm going to skip this part. I would like to talk about the copyright infringement cases. In the case of OpenSea, OpenSea is like the mecca of content copyright infringements. There are many ridiculous infringement cases. If you search for any word, you know into this OpenSea uh, window, you will see a lot of content that are just uploaded without the permission of the owner of the content. If you search for Squid Game or BYC here, this is the result you get. All these search results are shown here without any filtering, and these images are being traded without the permission of the copyright holder. And this NFT market itself has relatively short history. This is not a mature market. So NFT market experiences a lot of hacking and phishing events. Recently, there was a Murakami flower issue. This is an NFT created by a famous Japanese artist. It was illegally copied, and there were 200 or 20, 250 fake websites that are selling this image without the permission of the owner and it created such a large amount of damages and Pororo NFT was also issued without the permission of the copyright holder they sold the character and earned profit and just ran away ran away so this is not just a simple violation of copyright Many people buy this with Ethereum and tokens. That's why secondary damages take place. And the users who experience damages by buying or purchasing the fake images sell the fake images again to the other users. In this way, damages take place across various users. And the previous speaker uh, talked a lot about um, the inf copyright infringement cases. I would also briefly mention the Nike case. There is some comment mentioned by Nike during the lawsuit. Nike said, that StockX is not developing its own intellectual property right. StockX is taking advantage of the business rights and trademark of Nike, and Nike is behaving like a free rider. 
this word free rider is the proper terminology to explain the copyright infringement cases in the NFT market. Next is Meta Birkins. The Meta Birkins images like this one are now deleted, but there are a lot of content that illegally copied these uh, content. If you search for Meta uh, Birkins in the internet, you will see a lot of illegally created derivatives uh, products that are still being traded. The case of Meta Birkins is a very important uh, incident. It created a controversy over whether this is the freedom of expression of an artist or if this is the infringement of copyright. Actually, in the US, the trademark of Aramis is related to this one. And the, in the US, the, the court dismissed the request for uh, Aramis's request for the claim of copyright infringement. First, If the NFT art was created in the digital form to issue NFT and if it's similar to or the same as the copyright work of others, that will constitute infringement of copyright just like the parodies of Van Gogh paintings. The second infringement case uh, type is that uh, people illegally digitalize the existing physical copyrighted work of others, produce them into NFT art, and issue and sell NFT. This is a quote from Korea Copyright Commission. There is a frog character named Pepe. When the market is bullish or bearish, this frog character often ap appears. And parodies of this frog character were created, and based on the parodies of the frog, NFTs were issued. So the NFT art, just like the Pepe, produced into digital form for the purpose of issuing NFT, are so much similar to the original Pepe character. And such behaviors are so common, which is a problem. And the second case is that that people digitalize the copyrighted work of others without their permission and produce them into the NFT artwork and sell the NFT. This is the copyright infringement. And the, the letters are so small on the slide. This is also the infringement of the right to produce secondary work. This is also the infringement of the right of transmission as well. I have two bad cases here. Some clients visit us to help them create NFT. Many of them are not copyright owners of the art, but they are just collectors of the art. They buy famous painting from an auction, so they have the ownership over the painting. They want to make NFT based on that artwork that they have ownership, and they want to sell this on the NFT platform. But it's not possible to do that because those people are not the original copyright holder of the uh, paintings. In that case, we say no to those people. And the physical copyrighted work of an artist who already died might be produced into NFT content, distributed and sold by their families. And if that actually constitutes defamation of the artist, then uh, there could be very serious uh, legal issues uh, to the extent that it can be regarded as the infringement of the copyright. How can we solve these problems? We can solve all these problems from business perspectives and technology perspectives. As a technological solution, you can use AI technology to filter similar or the same content and the fake content. OGQ, which is our partner, 
uses GIA, an AI-based technology, to filter content. So our client acquired the company that has such technology. And regarding the content in the OGQ market, they can identify the possible infringement of copyright by using the AI filtering technology. This is also going to be applied to our creator's market. Secondly, most of the copyright infringement cases take place in the BAYC and meta content with expensive price. So high priced NFT is called blue chip. We white list the smart contract of the blue chips. So the smart contract of the blue chips that violated the copyrights will be separately uh, dealt with by our company. Thirdly, we need to emphasize the importance of copyright of each creator. So we will use technology to strengthen the authentication process by using creator uh, KYC. We can also issue UCI code. This is what our main partner uh, did. By issuing UCI code, we can implement the preliminary protection of the copyright holder and the copyrighted work. And if there is content that infringed the copyright, we need to have uh, the process to make a report on such cases. As you may know, we have to prevent uh, people from maliciously uploading illegally copied content to the platform, but that's very difficult to do so. Important thing here is to prevent re recurrence of the problem. Once a person uploads the illegal content, we need to make strong r response to um, such activities so that we will prevent any reoccurrence of the copyright infringement. Thirdly, we need to establish content sourcing, reviewing, and monitoring procedures. Our employees have created the platform named Creators, which is an NFT market platform. We read this Creators. Many people call this X Raters or X Creators. We put X in our name because it means that we're going to multiply the authority and uh, proceeds or earnings of creators. That's why we put X in there. This is X, but we uh, actually made a design to look like a C as well. We are focusing on distributing uh, proceeds, unfair proceeds in a fair way to the copyright holders. We will reduce the inconvenience of consumers and enhance the authority of creators. And in our market, we are using NFT technology strategically. And when creators and users see some content on the NFT platform, they should be uh, careful if they are accessing illegally distributed content. And we are trying to ensure fair distribution of uh, profit to the creators. In our NFT market, content can be sold in three forms. Firstly, content can be immediately sold at the price set by the creator. Second method is auction. This is the same as OpenSea. And thirdly, as the previous speaker mentioned, the third 
method of sale is split. It looks like a puzzle. You can buy a piece of the puzzle, and only the puzzle you bought is shown with color. This is currently under development. For now, auction and immediate purchase are possible. In the case of split distribution or split sales, we are undergoing legal review on the business of split sale. We have five types of authentication process for creator or author KYC process. First of all, we authenticate the identity of creator and we conduct AI upload screening by using OGQGIN technology. Thirdly, we review the content and reflect feedback. And fourthly, we register UCI and we upload the chain. Due to time constraint, I will have to skip some slides and I would like to show you the design of our NFT market. We are introducing creators and showcasing creators to the users. We are introducing creators what kind of person the creator is and what kind of history the creator has. So we have detailed page. If you look at our market, you may wonder whether this is a crowdfunding scheme. So we have such strengths compared to other marketplaces. Our marketplace is uh, launched and is providing service under beta version. We're going on with Q&A session and in the end of November, we will officially open this marketplace. And our working level employees are the same as uh, the professors and experts of copyright uh, here. We working level employees are concerned very much about protecting the intellectual property right. And we are kind of sensitive to the copyright issues as this is also related to the CS customer service. And regarding copyright and intellectual property, we want to collaborate with uh, many of you as well as with research institutions. We are open to your suggestions and advice. This will be all for my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kim Tan-yoo from Creators.